Hello friends, this video on algebraic expressions part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this we have learned how do we perform multiplication with algebraic expressions. Now let's see how do we multiply a monomial with a polynomial one step further. That means still now we consider that one, term, one expression is a monomial, the other one is a binomial. One is a monomial, the other one is a trinomial. So now let us get into a little more complex scenario where both the expressions are like one is trinomial, the other one is also trinomial or one is binomial, the other one is trinomial. So a little more complex scenario. So there also we will make use of the distributive law and here again we will combine the like terms together because in this case since we have more number of terms so even after we apply the distributive law we will be left with many different terms so to simplify that further we need to combine the like terms together and get the simplified version so let us start with a binomial multiplied by a binomial so we will take one example so let's say that we take this example 2x plus 5 to be multiplied to 4x minus 3. So here if you say 2x plus 5 is a binomial, it has two terms, 2x and 5. Similarly, 4x minus 3 is a binomial with two terms, 4x and 3. So how do we multiply them? So in this case, it is of the form. So if you look at the form of this expression, it is something like a plus b multiplied to c plus d. So this can be written as a plus b multiplied by c plus a plus b multiplied by d. So if you assume that this entire a plus b is a, so a into b plus c is a into b plus a into c. So by distributive property, this is how you can write it. Now, if you want to further break this down, this can be written as a into c plus b into c. So this can be further written as a into c plus b into c plus a into d plus b into d. So this is how you can further break it down. So now when you look at this, you see that what we actually do is when you have two binomials to be multiplied, you actually end up multiplying each term with another term. So every term gets multiplied with every other term. So in this binomial, you have four terms A, B, C, D. So you see A gets multiplied to C, A also gets multiplied to D, B gets multiplied to C, B also gets multiplied to D. So every term in this expression gets multiplied to every term in the other expression. Okay, so applying this logic, let us try to solve this one, this expression. So here what we will do, 2x into 4x. So 2x into 4x minus 3 plus 5 into 4x minus 3. So this can be further written as 2x into 4x minus 2x into 3 plus 5 into 4x minus 5 into 3. So 2x into 4x, 2 into 4 is 8, x into x is x squared. 3 into 2 is 6 into x, 5 into 4 is 20 and x, 5 into 3 is 15. So this is what you get after applying the distributive law. But here you see that these two terms are like terms because both of them have the same algebraic factor x. So this can be further simplified. So what we do, plus 20 minus 6 is plus 14x minus 15. So you see earlier you had four terms now you simplified it further to three terms. So this would be the final product of the two binomials. So let us take one more example. So suppose you are given a square plus b and you have to multiply it to a plus b square. So how would you go about it? Again the same thing. This particular term should get multiplied to each term of the next expression. Similarly, this particular term should get multiplied to each term of the next expression. So we can directly write it like this. a square into a plus a square into b square plus b into a plus b into b square. Now a square into a would be a cube a square into b square would be a square b square, a into b would be ab and b into b square would be b cube. So now if you compare all the four terms, you see that they do not have any like terms. So that means that this is the final answer. So now let's see that how do we handle the product of a binomial with a trinomial. So in this case, it is going to be even more, uh, not complex really, but more lengthy. 
So let us suppose that you have a binomial a plus b and you need to multiply it with a trinomial 2a minus 3b plus c. So how will you go about it? Here also the same thing, each term in this expression, for example, a should get multiplied to each term of the trinomial, that is a should get multiplied to all these three terms. Similarly, b should get multiplied to all these three terms. So therefore, we can write it as a into 2a minus a into 3b plus a into c plus b into 2a minus b into 3b plus b into c. So this can be written as 2a square minus 3ab plus ac plus 2ab minus 3b square plus bc. So now if you look at it, if you try to rearrange the terms and see that if you have any like terms, so you will find that 3ab and 2ab, these are like terms. So let's try to simplify them further. So minus 3ab plus 2ab. So minus 3 plus 2 would be minus 1ab plus ac plus bc minus 3b square. So this would be the final product. So you see when you multiply a binomial with a trinomial, your product also has so many terms. There are five terms in the final product. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.